I'm Shirley Lawson from Call Scotland and I'm delighted to contribute this video on using Office 365, an immersive reader for dyslexic learners, as part of the At Home with Dyslexia Scotland series. I'm accessing Office 365 through Glow and I can use any of the Microsoft applications here, Outlook for Mail, OneDrive to save all my files, Word, Excel, etc. These applications are the online versions, meaning that Word is Word Online and everything I do here can be accessed from any device I log into with my Glow Office 365 account. This is very useful when students are using a laptop, a Chromebook or iPad in school and then a different device at home. There's no need to transfer, save, print or email files to yourself. It's all saved automatically and in the one place on OneDrive. And this is really beneficial for dyslexic learners with organisational difficulties. OK, let's open a Word Online document and have a look at the tools that are on offer to support reading and writing difficulties. Here's a document with some information about volcanoes. I can see there are a couple of words with red squiggly lines under them indicating a spelling mistake and a blue double underline on Earth showing a grammatical glitch. I can either go to each individual word and click on it to get the spelling correction, or I can click on F7 on my Windows laptop to bring up the editor panel, which will show all the corrections that need to be done and the grammatical errors here. So clicking on the spelling, my two spelling mistakes, and I can make the corrections quickly and easily. Having this type of support within Word Online provides reinsurance to dyslexic learner. It reduces anxiety about spelling errors, knowing that their work can be checked, gives more confidence to use a more extensive vocabulary. If the text is hard to read, then we can use Immersive Reader to have the text read aloud. Go to the top tab here, clicking on View, an Immersive Reader. You now have a page with a clear interface and just click the play arrow at the bottom to listen to the text. A volcano is a landform, usually a mountain, where molten rock erupts through the surface of the planet. In the top right hand corner there are other assistive tools to support someone with dyslexia. In Text Preferences you can change the font, the font size and the theme. Here we have black text and white background, which is the worst possible combination. So going down to the themes, I can change it to one of these colours or clicking on more colours will give me a more variety there. I'm going to click on the aqua one. For some dyslexic learners, increasing the spacing between the letters in the word and the words themselves can increase the reading accuracy and speed. So that's worth trying here. Toggle that on and you can see the difference in the text there. Like all these useful tools, it's important to model them with your learners and ensure they know where to find them and how to use them. Under the grammar options, you have the options to split the words into syllables, which again can make reading easier for some dyslexic learners. And if you want to identify a particular part of speech, you can toggle it on here. Here are all the nouns now in purple. This is a really good tool to check learners' understandings of different parts of speech. Learners with dyslexia may have problems tracking when reading. In reading preferences, switching on line focus can provide that extra focus to improve the reading experience. With the background colour changed, and the words spaced further apart and the line focus on, we can now have three assistive features working together and I can click on the play button and listen to the text. Planet. In simple terms, a volcano is a mountain that opens downward to a pool of molten rock, magma, below the surface of the earth. The picture dictionary tool gives inbuilt symbol support for most nouns. It's switched on there, so when I go to the text and click on a word. Earth. Surface. 
Another useful tool for dyslexic learners with writing difficulties can be Dictate, the inbuilt speech recognition tool. This lets you speak and word will convert your speech into text. You can use Dictate on a Windows machine or on a Chromebook. Or on an iPad, you can use Surrey to dictate text into Word Online. You have to speak pretty clearly and avoid mumbling or hesitating. Just going to switch on the dictate and start speaking. Using speech recognition is an excellent way to support my writing difficulties. Full stop. So to recap, these are the key features of using Immersive Reader in Word Online which can support dyslexic learners. Have an explore with these free assistive tools and help raise awareness of how they can support learners with literacy difficulties. For more information on all inclusive digital technologies, go to the call website. And here you will find a wide range of training opportunities to learn how to use technology to support dyslexic learners.